Okay, friends at home, in this video I will be showing you how to do this Lenten Promises page. So boys and girls, we've just talked a lot about the season of Lent. We watched the video with the two nuns that talked to us about what Lent is all about. We looked at two pages in our religion books where we talked about how we can become better people during Lent. Now it's time for you to make some promises during Lent. So this page is going to be your Lenten Promises. It says, during the season of Lent, and the first sentence says, I will pray for... And then there's some lines here. I want you to think about who or what you're going to pray for. And in your best, nicest handwriting, because these will be hanging up in the classroom, I want you to write who or what you will pray for. This one says, I will give up. Remember, fasting is an important part of Lent. And it doesn't just have to be food or candy. You can give up fighting with your siblings. Maybe you want to give up being mean to a friend at school. Maybe you want to give up talking when you're not supposed to be talking or give up talking back to your parents. Okay, so write down something you're going to give up. I will show kindness by, on these lines, I want you to write somehow, how are you going to show kindness to other people? What can you do to show kindness? And then it says, I will prepare for Easter by, what are you going to do to get prepared for Easter? And then down at the bottom, there's a line that says name. What do you think you're going to put on that line, Sage? Your name. Now, when you're all finished writing this in your best writing, do you see how there's like a dotted line that goes around the outside of the page? I want you to take your scissors, and I want you to cut on that dotted line, okay? Beckett, while I'm doing this, you've had your hand raised for a minute. Do you have something to say? Okay. He wasn't really sure what to give up. Well, is there something at home that you do that maybe do you watch a lot of TV or play a lot of video games or you eat a lot of candy? Is there something you can maybe give up? Maybe no video games on Mondays. For the 40 days of Lent, every time it's Monday, I'm not going to play my video game or something like that. But you decide. It's up to you. It's between you and God. All right. So now I got that done and cut out. After you're done and cut it out, you'll have this purple paper that this will get attached to, okay? And when you glue this onto the purple paper, you want to leave some space at the top, more space at the top than the bottom, because then the next thing you're going to do, you have this little head and hands that you're going to cut out. And go slow, because when you're, when you're cutting and you go fast, you get those jagged, crunchy edges. And it just doesn't look great. But if you go nice and slow, then it'll look really great. Now, this little person has a cross of ashes on their forehead. How many of you went to Ash Wednesday Mass last week when we were off school? Excellent. Now, I know because of the pandemic, maybe not everyone made it to Ash Wednesday Mass. But in case you didn't know, on Ash Wednesday every year, we get a cross made of ashes put on our forehead. Now, the ashes show that we are human, that someday we will die. Our bodies don't live forever. Our ashes show that we are human and that we are sinners. We make mistakes. The cross shape reminds us that we have a Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for us so that our sins will be forgiven and we will live forever in happiness with God. So on Ash Wednesday, we go and get our ashes. Now, if we were in school, then we go as a school to Ash Wednesday Mass and get our ashes. But because we were on break last week, many of you, and it made me happy to see all those hands, many of you, including myself, went to church and got our ashes. So after you cut out your face, you'll cut out these two. These are the hands, okay? So you're going to cut these out. And again, take your time. Where should all the scraps go that you cut out, Blake? Garbage or recycling. I don't want to find a bunch of scraps on the classroom floor. Especially today, I'm going to be after school today. There's going to be some new students that will be starting here next year that I'm going to be testing. They're going to be in the classroom, and we want to make sure that... Um, they're impressed with how nice our class looks, right? All right. So now that I've got my head and my hands cut out, the last thing that you will cut out is your hair. And depending on what color hair you have, 
I have different color hairs. And if you're a boy or if you're a girl, I have different color or different shapes of hair. So for this one, I'm going to do, I'm going to make this one a boy and I'm going to use orangish red hair. Okay, so I'm going to cut this out carefully. And if, again, if you're a girl, you'll do the girl hair. And if you're a boy, you'll do the boy hair. And friends at home, this is Hat Cuff, and I put the right hair in your packet for you. So if you have boy hair, you'll obviously, you're a boy. And if you have girl hair, you're obviously a girl. So we'll get these cut out. And then you'll construct your little Ash Wednesday Lenten Promise page. And how this works, you take, so you've got your, I'll hold it up here so you can see, you've got your paper and it's centered on your page, but I left a little bit extra at the top. See how there's more space at the top? And then you'll take your head and you'll glue it on like this. And then your two hands. You'll glue onto the sides like this so it looks like you're holding on to the paper. And then whatever hair you had, if you're a boy, you'll glue your boy hair on. And if you're a girl, you'll glue your girl hair on. And then all of these little children holding their Lenten promises will get hung up in the classroom, okay? So make sure you take your time on these. Do your best handwriting. Make them look really nice because not only will these be going up in the classroom for everyone to see, so this will be a nice keepsake for you for the rest of your life during Lent to look back on and reflect on how you can get closer to Jesus, okay? So I look forward to seeing your Lenten Promise pages come together, and we'll see you later, friends at home.